All right, Tempest Ronin, back, ready for another Hearthstone Arena. That last one was a little disappointing. I mean, three and three, it was it pretty much broke even, but I, I think it could have done better. And uh, hopefully we'll do better this time. So let's see what we get. Uh, well, I have got such a bad track record with Warrior. I like them. The weapons are so good. They can stack up such card advantage, but uh, I hurt myself too much. Priests. Oh, I hate priests, but sometimes I win with them. Mage is pretty standard. It's been a while since I played a mage. Let's let's go with mage. My magic will prevail. I hope so, Jaina. Wow, hobgoblin. Echoing ooze. Hobgoblin's usually pretty bad. Um, we spell stoppers not all that good either. Echoing ooze is probably the most solid card of the three, but I'd kind of like it to also have the hobgoblin. Uh, well, echoing ooze it is. Raid leader, no. Cord light oracle, no. Gold char footman, no. Oh, please, card value be better in all future picks. Taking the Raid Leader. Voodoo Doctor. <laughs> Nomergan Infantry. This is not good. But Snow Chugger is amazing. Mech Warper. Oh, are we going to make a freaking Mech Mage? Is that going to happen? Should I do it? It would mean I have to really pick all mechs afterwards. I really think Sentient Shield Master is the better pick here. So I'm going to take it. Ah, uh, Cobalt Geomancer is probably better than the other two. One spell damage is, isn't so bad, depending on what other spells I get. But this guy's not really good, and this guy's really not good. Although he's a little better in Mage. We're taking the Geomancer. Flame Strike, yes, thank you. Booty Bay Bodyguard, Ogre Brute, Dragonling Mechanic. Ogre Brute is actually really good. It's so strong for three mana. So I'm gonna take him. Mana Worm. Could be useful. Hmm. Yeah, probably Mana Worm. Archmage, Youthful Brewmaster, Explosive Sheep. All of these cards have their merits. In Mage, Explosive Sheep is basically Consecration. Two mana to deal two damage to everything for your hero power. It's not as good as Consecrate, because, well, it hits your minions too, but still, it's it's a pretty nice combo for Mage. Youthful Brewmaster is a good standard two drop with a slight upside, and the Archmage is a very standard, not standard, but very healthy six drop. Seven HP is hard to argue with. I don't have a lot of spells yet, but I think the Archmage is the probably the best pick here. Oh, well, South Sea Captain's useless, but Sea Giant or Faceless? Sea Giant is like the most useful of the Giants in Arena, because at least you can always play him. But Faceless has potential. I don't have anything really worth facelessing yet, however, which kind of makes it less valuable. But it could be good against enemy cards? Eh, I don't know. I think uh, Sea Giant probably wins out here. Goblin Blast Mage. Okay, I have one mech. And I can't guarantee I'm going to get any more mechs. But for four mana, the Blast Mage is still really good. He's still a 5-4, even if you don't get the benefits out of him. I mean, that's not amazing, but... But still, I mean, he might... He's probably going to kill something. Alright, Blast Mage it is.
All right, so we've got Stone Tusk Boar, which is not great. Cone of Cold, Dark Iron Dwarf. Dark Iron Dwarf is probably one of the best fours you could pick up in the neutral card set. Cone of Cold, well, I've got two spell power creatures, which really can make this better. But even then, it, I, I just don't think it's better than Dark Iron Dwarf. Polymorph, yes, thank you, taking that. Another Monoworm, a Zombie Chow, or Mechanical Yeti. I would take all three of these cards if I could. These are all great. Um, so far, it looks like we've got a kind of a nice overall curve. I've got more fours than anything else, though. But we're not even halfway through, so I can't guarantee that. On the other side, Mechanical Yeti is a mech. That'll bring up the mechs. That makes Goblin Blast Mage a little better. So I think this is the better pick than Zombie Chow. Zombie Chow is good. E even great. It's, it's a very great, very, very useful card. But Mech Yeti is where I'm going. And um, Spider Tank's really strong too. I've got one, two, three, four early game plays. I'd really like to bring that up a bit more. But filling out the threes will kind of help that, so I'll take Spider Tank. Got all that extra HP. Another Snow Chugger or a Fireball? That's a little hard to choose. It's hard not to take Fireball. I don't have a lot of spells yet, and having a few fast answers would be helpful. Snow Chugger would help out Blast Mage, but Fireball, man. Freaking Fireball. Arcane Missiles over the crap. Snow Chugger. Okay, I'll take that extra Snow Chugger over Cold of Gold. Oh, um, gotta love the Ogre. I mean, yeah, Boldifist. Well, here's a whole lot of crap. Whole lot of crap. The Blood Sail Corsair might break a weapon, but eh, he's so weak. Mana Addict never does anything good. It, it's really bad. And I don't want to give my opponent cards. No, like, no matter what, I don't want to give them cards. Oh, which is better? Of, of these two bad cards, do I take the Corsair because I could play it on turn one with my Mono Worm? <laughs> or do I take the Mana Addict when all of my spells are expensive and thus will probably never get to make good use of them? Except maybe with Arcane Missiles. Yeah. I'm going to take the Blood Sail Corsair because I hate this card so much. Duplicate, that's that's nice. Yes, duplicate. Over in four stack max is good. Getting the end game would be nice, but I'm taking duplicate. Another dark iron dwarf or war golem. Um my fours are looking okay, really. I mean I probably won't use polymorph or fireball, so I've got four fours technically that I would play on turn four. Unless something horrible hits the field for some reason. But, um, War Golem... Eh, it's a, hard, it's a hard sell, isn't it? I've already got two cards that are kind of expensive. I'm gonna take Dark Iron Dwarf. It's just so valuable. And Chillwin Yeti, another 4-drop over the Wisp and the Dragonhawk. Starting to kind of wish I'd taken the War Golem. Cobalt Geomancer, Clockwork Gnome, Blood Sail Raider. Clockwork Gnome is a is, is a cheap combo for the uh, Blast Mage, but I've only got one Blast Mage, and this guy doesn't usually do very much. Cobalt Geomancer will at least provide some spell power. Blood Sail Raider, I have no weapons, so this is probably useless. So I think I take Geomancer here. 
Uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice is strong, but I don't have a lot of spells. I've got Fireball, Polymorph, Arcane Missiles, Flame Strike. Eh, it's kind of meh, isn't it? But it's still a 3-2 for 2 mana. What do I got? One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, I don't really want too many twos, right? Hmm. Do I go Abusive Sergeant then? Really? No, this will be my last two drop, I guess. Unless I take the Owl for a silence. Oh, okay. What are we doing here? Mechanical Yeti is strong and and always good. Iron Beak Owl gives me a silence and not much else. Silences can be helpful, but Yeti, but silence. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Owl. Should I take the Owl? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight four drops. I've got eight two drops. No, wait. One, two, three, four, five major two drops and then two ones. All right, I'll take an Iron Beak Owl, but I'm not taking any more twos unless it's Frostbolt. Um, Jungle Panther. Yeah. I've only got three more picks. This is getting kind of silly. I don't have a lot of late game here. I'm going to take the duplicate. I feel like I might need it. Another duplicate? Really? This stuff is such... so bad. Okay. Three duplicates. Enhance a mechanical spellbender, South Sea Captain. Do I think I can keep enough stuff on the board to make Enhanso Meccano useful? And I think the answer to that is probably a resounding no. Spellbender, I'll take Spellbender. Well, this deck is a thing. Look at this. It's got a solid set of twos, threes, and fours. I mean, I should not have problems playing cards. Uh, the duplicates really kind of have to be saved, though, right? I need to get them to duplicate Boulderfist Ogre, Archmage, or Sea Giant. I, I have to, because I don't have much strong late game, and I don't have much fast answers to combo these cards with. Uh, I've got Dark Iron Dwarf and Goblin Blast Mage for some quickness. Arcane Missiles kind of works. Got nothing to benefit the Echoing Ooze. No buffs of, of any kind that would that would work that way. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you guys in the first episode. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm hoping for four wins. Bye bye.